All right, this problem is another great one for a graphing calculator. And we want to start by going into the Stat menu and going into Edit, and then typing all of our data into List 1 and List 2. List 1 is the asbestos exposure, and List 2 is the percent of mice that develop lung tumors. Good uplifting problem that we're looking at here. And we want to find the regression line. So once we have the numbers typed in, we can go back to Stat, over to Calculate, and down to choice number four, linear regression, press enter. We're going to use list one and list two. We don't need to worry about frequency list. And we are going to be interested in plot in part B to look at the plot and look at the graph. So let's go ahead and store this in uh, y, the Y menu. So we go to variables and we go over to Y variables and choose function and choose Y1. And now we can calculate. So the regression equation is approximately y equals 0.019x plus 0.305. And if we press y equals, we notice that that equation was pasted into the y equals menu in a great deal of detail. You see all these numbers. So we're not going to lose accuracy on rounding there when we look at that graph. So the next thing we want to do for part b is to make the scatter plot and graph the regression line. So the regression line equation is already turned on, and now I need to turn on the scatter plot. So I go into the second y equals menu to take me to stat plots. I go into the menu for stat plot number one and turn it on. And notice that we want to choose scatter plot list one and list two. Okay, so now to choose a good window for this data, we're going to go to zoom and choose zoom nine, which is zoom stat. So here we see our scatter plot and we see the regression line. I would say it does appear to be a suitable model because that line does go through the data fairly nicely with a few points above and a few points below. And the line, the data does appear to be somewhat linear. It doesn't fall super close to the line, but it's having sort of a linear trend. Okay, finally for part C, we want to say what the y-intercept of the regression line represents. So the y-intercept is the point with an x-coordinate of 0, and that would mean that the mice had, or the rats had, 0 exposure to asbestos. And that would be the rate of, or the percent of mice that develop lung tumors, even though they had no asbestos exposure. And we could go ahead and find what that is. So if we go into table set, which is second window, and we make sure that we're on independent ask, and then we go into table, which is second graph, we can type in a zero for the x-coordinate, and we get our y-coordinate of 0 0.3, 0 0.3048. So that would represent about a 0.3% of mice developing lung tumors, even though they weren't exposed to asbestos.